Article 28, Clause 2 provides an exception for Clause 1. It says that if an educational institution has been established through private funds, such as through endowments or by any religious trusts, with the mandate that the institution will impart religious education, then Clause 1 will not be applicable, even if the institution is being administered by the government. For example, a religious trust provides the funds to set up a school with the intention of providing religious instruction along with regular subjects. Now, the administration of the school is managed by the government. Since the specific purpose of setting up the school was to teach a religion, it can provide religious instruction. So, this article grants some freedoms to specific institutions. But the caveat here is that no student can be forced to attend those religious classes because that is a freedom protected under the next clause of this article. 